Hello and welcome again uh, talk to my car um, where we make your car stock and we want to teach you uh, some basics of how to make your cars talk to you as well. Um, my name is Ivan and uh, today we are going to talk about um, um, the basics to how uh, supplementary, supplementary restraint systems work on vehicles. Um, SRS uh, systems include, uh, but not restricted to airbags, they include uh, things like, um, like belts um, in modern vehicles. The um, safety belts are also controlled by the SRS computer um, during a crash. Um, I'll give you the basics of how that is achieved um, electronically by the SRS control module. SRS once again stands for supplement Supplementary Restraint System. Um, it, 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 it controls mostly the airbags but other components like I've mentioned to you. And um, I borrowed this image from um, factory service manual for a Land Cruiser, a Toyota Land Cruiser Prado 2004 model. Um, just to give you an idea of how complex cars are getting. If this is a um, 2004 model, if that's how it looks, um, you begin to wonder yourself how the 2014 model is going to look. Uh, because every year, um, year on year, manufacturers are adding um, extra um, computer control systems onto vehicles. The wiring is increasing and um, the control modules are increasing and the functionality of, of the components on the vehicles are increasing. Um, this, is, um, this image is just to give you an idea of what you buy when you purchase a vehicle. There is a lot that you don't see that you spend your money on. Um, we get to see, uh, usually we get to see the seating, get to see uh, the steering, under the hood we have the engine and gearbox and the wheels, but there is a lot in the vehicle that um, people who don't open open up cars in garages don't see. And I just wanted you to have an idea of this. Um, moving on to the next slide, which we have is um, a close-up of what is under the dash of uh, 2004 left-hand drive Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. In this case, I want to point out a little bit more on the components that we're interested in in this uh, video, um, i.e. Um, SRS components, um, specifically the airbag control units. In this video here, we've been listed, um, we have a list here of, of, uh, of the components. We have A35, A36, A37 as airbag sensor assembly. And those units, A35, 36, and 37, are these guys here somewhere um, behind the plastics on uh, at the bottom of your dashboard. Now, those guys are fixed rigidly onto the chassis of, of, of your car, and they are there to detect a collision. Now, how do they achieve that? If you are involved in a collision, um, you come to an abrupt stop, as in, if you've been doing, say, 50 kilometers an hour in microseconds or milliseconds, you 
decelerate very very harshly down to zero and in some cases when the car moves backwards you go into minus um, speed and um, what you have inside these sensors are accelerometers and by you hitting something um, and, and losing speed that terribly fast the accelerometer will be activated it's working all the time but it it, it will now sense that you you are, you are being involved in a crash and then order um, the, the, the the sensors these guys here from the signal they are seeing because they are always wired to the uh, SRS control module um, which is yes usually under the dashboard or could be here um, we shall get to that later but the airbag control module based on the signals it is getting from these guys the sensors in here will order the airbag squib um, like in this case um, we have we are being shown the A38 and A39 which are There is one here, the A38. I think that's for the passenger side airbag at the front here because this is a left hand drive vehicle. And the one for the driver will be on this side on the steering wheel. Um, it will be on the steering, and the steering is not being shown here, so um, it hasn't been included in the image. But basically, what the squib does is it uh, the squib activates does the actual activation of the airbag um, deploying or exploding, if you want to call it that, and protecting your face and chest and whatever else. But that happens in tandem with the seat belts in these modern vehicles. When you are involved in a crash, your seat belt would hold you. Uh, rigidly in your seat because the SRS control module orders uh, during that um, during the collision while the airbags are deploying at the same time the airbag control module the SRS module uh, orders the 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 the, the squibs on on the seat belts to tighten so that the seat belt doesn't move so it holds you uh, rigidly in, in your seat so it's very important even though you have airbags in your vehicle it's always very important to wear your seat belts because airbags will will usually not save you if you're not wearing a seat belt and um, they, they might actually kill you if if you if you're involved in such a harsh crash that because you're not being held back by the seat belts, your body moves in a certain way and the airbags hit you the wrong way, you might actually end up either getting maimed, injured by the airbag themselves or getting killed. It's that serious. Guys, always wear your seat belts whether or not you have airbags in your vehicle. And something else I would like to add here, I've noticed a lot of Ugandans drive their vehicles with children below the age of 12 sitting in the front seat and the passenger seat, um, usually not wearing seat belts. And sometimes the children are not even sitting, they are just standing in the footwell in front of the front passenger seat. Guys, that's so dangerous. If you noticed in um, European movies or American movies, you always notice that the um, children um, under the age of 12 usually sit in the back of the car. They are usually never seated at the front. Why? Because an airbag um, that is designed to save your life can actually kill when deploys can actually kill um, a child below the age of 12 
if they are seated in the front seat. Um, don't ask me how and why, just know it is possible. And if you read the user manual that comes with your vehicle, if you ever get it, look at it, it confirms that. Guys, don't have children below the age of 12 sitting in the front seats, especially in a car with airbags. If they do, have them sat down and wear seat belts. I urge you. Um, I, I don't want to add more to that. Um, I just wanted you to, to, to realize um, sometimes showing off or whatever can kill us unknowingly. Um, use vehicles with caution. If a vehicle, if you have a vehicle that came with a user manual, please take time to read it. It's not there for, you know, just for show or for passion. Read it. It has very important information that could save your life. Um, in this next slide, um, again from a 2004 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado, uh, it shows you um, where uh, they hide the squibs for, um, in this case, the side airbags. Some vehicles, apart from the airbag that you'd have in front of you, some vehicles have side airbags in these sides, in the seats in those sides so we have squibs for deploying those as well hidden away under the seat of your vehicle you would normally never see this and um, yeah that's about it i don't have a lot to say about um, squibs all you have to know is um, they are the guys they are the triggers that um, that fire your, or deploy your airbags, but they take their orders from the SRS control module. Um, I'll move on to the next slide. Oh, before I move on to the next slide, um, you've noticed in a lot of um, late 90s cars and uh, early 2000 onward cars, um, they have warning signs for um, alerting you to wear your seatbelt and you will notice that that warning never comes on unless your seat is occupied. So modern vehicles um, have um, seat occupant detection systems embedded into these um, SRS uh, systems as well. They are getting um, more and more complex and having more functionality or functions embedded in with every year. Um, so the switches that warn you um, to have your belt on are usually in the seat and um, once you were a passenger, you sit in your vehicle and you don't um, fasten your seat belt, the SRS control module will know about it and warn you to do the same. and. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is uh, when you have a crash and the airbags are deploying in cars which have uh, seat occupancy detection sensors like the one you're seeing on, on, on the screen, they will not deploy all the airbags. They will deploy the airbag usually for the driver it's automatic because um, the computer assumes uh, if the vehicle is traveling it will have a driver in it always. So it will now look at the other seats um, and have the seat occupancy detection sensors and will deploy the airbags only for those seats uh, for which the sensors are reporting that there are people sat in the, in the vehicle. So it's very important to have this um, entire system working properly. Don't ignore the airbag warning lights on your dashboard. They are usually warning you that maybe a sensor in a seat is bad or something like that. You might ignore it, but it becomes important when you have a crash because if the computer doesn't know that the seat is occupied, well, that person is not going to have their airbag deploying and they might lose their life because of that. And um, Another thing I wanted to point out is 
um, the SRS control module will, will um, only deploy these systems like the airbags when you decelerate from um, above a certain speed below say 30 kilometers an hour the system might not deploy might not be activated um, it, that might vary from manufacturer to manufacturer but um, the, that's how it is and also if your vehicle is stationary and you get hit by another vehicle that's traveling again the airbags will not deploy because the, the SRS control module will not be aware that you are traveling so it will not uh, be able to trigger the airbags and finally as usual I like to give you an idea of how the module for the related system um, relates to, to, to the components that it controls. In this case here, for example, we have the airbag squib in the steering wheel part. This is for the driver's side. This is the squib. This is like the trigger for the airbag in that uh, steering wheel. And then we have um, sensors on this side. Um, just beware, this, the image of this this wiring diagram is not complete. Um, you see this cutoff. It means um, the rest of, of um, this wiring diagram is on another page. But we have cut off a section of the um, SRS control module, and they are trying to show you how it relates to these sensors. And take note of if you are working on a vehicle, take note of these colors because they will guide you when you're doing uh, wiring and continuity tests and voltage uh, checks and all that because this module will be in a different part of the vehicle um, say the dashboard and this will be on the steering wheel so if you need to check the health of this wire you follow this uh, you might want to pin your equipment here and then pin it on this end so you will need to know that you are following the same wire so you're given the Pin out diagram here it shows you uh, the terminals one two three four and on this side it shows you the terminal on the SRS control module 13 14 etc etc and they show you the color of um, the wire the concerned wire and this is very very important when you're doing uh, repairs um, to the wiring on, on these systems these diagrams the colors these pin out numbers are very very important um, this is just showing you the grounding um, wires and their terminals on the SRS module. ETC, ETC. If you're interested in um, having a look at um, um, a good look at this image, you can pause the video. Otherwise, moving on to the next and uh, last, um, just thanking you for once again um spending your time um allowing us to interest you in the kind of work we do um if you have any other questions or you want to share information with us um sharing means you can give us and we can give you information we don't claim to know everything um if you want to share information and uh, uh, vehicle diagnostic ideas please join us at um, our facebook group um, forum at the address shown at the bottom of the video thank you very much uh, we are here to save you time money and headaches um, come back to our channel and watch uh, the other videos um, to improve your knowledge of um, the Hitler systems. Thank you. Bye.